Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. Okay, moving on from our previous video, I'm going to show you how to combine shapes. And first, I'm going to hide this maps layer for now. And we can see that we actually have eight shapes that make up this map. And so let's undo my movements. And I can select these four, just the four gray shapes. And if I use these features here, I can combine the shapes in many creative ways. Actually, before I show you on these shapes, let me just create two simple shapes here, a square and a circle. And I'm just going to show you how these features work with shapes. So first of all, if I select both of these shapes, I can group these two shapes together to be one shape. And now I can change the color of this shape to be one solid color. And if I move it around, it behaves as one shape. If I undo that, let's look at a few other options we can do. So if I want to subtract the top from the bottom, I can do that. And now we have one shape here. And also if I just want to preserve what's overlapping, so this area right here, for example, we can use this intersect feature. And now we have the intersecting paths of those two shapes. And lastly, we can exclude whatever overlaps. So in this case, it would be in the center. So using these four Boolean effects, we can combine some very simple shapes to create a complex shape without doing much work at all. So now that you know how that works, we're gonna come back over here into our icon. I'm gonna select just these four shapes here. And I just wanna combine these. So I can click on this combine tool. And now I can select these four shapes here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And the nice thing now that I've done this is if I want to come in here and change the color, it changes as one shape. So that's really nice. Now, while we're here, we're going to create a few more shapes. So I'm going to turn my maps image back on and I want to create this little pin drop here. So the first thing I can do is create a circle and I'll hold down shift so I can constrain the ratio. And let's make this black for now. In fact, let's make it this red. That's what it's going to be when it is finished anyways. And now we have this circle. I can copy and paste this circle. So now we have two shapes here. I'm going to make this white for now. And holding down shift, I can constrain the ratio. And if I hold down option, I can constrain this to resize from the center. So I want my circle to be somewhat like that. I think that looks good. And lastly, we do have two circles, but just like we've done with the rectangle, we can double click on these and access the anchor points to create a custom shape. So now I can grab this anchor point, for example, and drag it down a little bit. And we can see some drag handles here. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in a future video. But if we click on this drag handle here, you can see that we can expand our curves, go clear out. So this is what dictates where things curve between these two anchor points. But in this case, I don't want it. So I can double click on this anchor point and that removes those drag handles and we have the nice point we were hoping for. So that's making a pretty good shape so far, but I actually want this to be one shape. So I can select this pin drop. I can select the circle inside, holding down shift. And now I can subtract and we have a shape where that hole is see-through now because it's all one shape. Let's go ahead and hide this map again and we can see how things are coming along quite nicely. In the next video, I'm going to introduce the pen tool. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish.